Hey everybody, Papa Rose here today. I'm bringing to you a new unboxing of a rifle I just picked up uh, not too long ago. So I went out and bought a new rifle and this is it. It's a Browning Bar in 300 Winchester short mag using 180 grain bullets. This is a badass caliber. So I wanted a gun that's going to be strong enough to bust through anything, but at the same time I want it that I have rapid shots, fast reloading, and good quality. Uh, we have in our family and friends quite a bit of these Browning Bars and they are great, but this is a new Stalker model and we're going to get to it right now. I'm going to do the unboxing. I am excited. So here we go. Here's the gun. You get a lock kit for your... And it comes all wrapped up here. You get a trigger lock here. That's always good. Two of them, I think. So these are sling mounts, which are extremely important to have. Um, I'm going to have to mount those up because a sling is necessary. This is the new Browning Bar Stalker Edition Black Synthetic Rubber Grip Pistol Grip and Forearm Grip Gold Trigger Lightweight Packs a Punch. I mean, this caliber here will do a number. I've had another 300 short mag and I shot deer with it and it just demolished them with these Acubons by Winchester, 180 grain. I mean, really did a number on them. So I will not be using these for deer this season, but I'm going to try out the Federal Power Shocks. Um, they're lead. I've used them for my 30.06s on deer and bear and they work well. They do not explode like the other shells, so I'm going to be using those. But this is it, semi-automatic, has a dropout magazine here that comes right out. You just click of a button, very simple, very easy. I'm not really sure if it holds, I want to say four, but it might only be three in this magazine that it's going to hold. So one thing you guys got to keep in mind if you buy this stalker model, when you buy mounts or a rail, I wanted to get a dual dovetail rail. The problem with that is these holes are not lined up the same distance of a normal bar with the Stalker model. Keep that in mind. Midway USA was able to help me out on the phone. They were the only company that explained this to me. When you look for a single rail, you cannot get the rail that is from the normal bar model. It has to be for the Stalker model. So therefore, I went out and I found this company, Tally. They're making these precision mounts, and what's really cool about them is the price is great, but they're made out of one solid piece for the ring and the rail. So the rail is the mount that bolts right into the receiver hitch top, and everything is done one shot. It's not that you have to put a base down, and then you have to put the, the ring to the base. These are all built in base and ring together. Awesome idea. It's one piece. I've never had a one piece before, so we're going to try them out and I'm going to mount them up right now. And the scope that I picked to use with this gun is going to be one that I had already. It's a Bushnell Elite 3200. And the reason why I'm using this 3200 is I've used it before. It does not fog. It stays true to my shot. I can see extremely far. It's a three by nine but it also fits the gun just perfect. Like, the way it looks is what I want for this gun. It's going to be a good setup. So that's what we're going to mount on with this tally now, and then we're going to go out and shoot it and try it out. And it's really cool. So it's just going to get pushed down with a button in the top here and that'll release it and lock it in and that's it. And that'll free swivel on ball bearings. This is a really nice setup. I like that a lot. If you want to take it out, you push the button and it pops right up. See that? Really cool. And that's it. Mounted, ready to rock and uh, we'll get some deer and 
Now I got the extra strength I need if I want to do moose again, grizzly, or elk, caribou, bear hunting every year. This is going to be my go-to gun from now on. First shots with this gun. I'm going to just do one for the first shot. feel a recoil out of it or nothing. This stalker is awesome. Alright, so as you can tell you can see the shots moving up and when I first shot at 50 yards I was off the chart, off the paper, because it's a new mounted scope, I didn't bore sight. So this is how I always sight my guns in, I'm not telling you how to do it. Bore sighting would be best, it puts you closest to it. But what I did was I moved that target right immediately into 25 yards, shot, and I could see it dropped, it was a foot and a half low. And I started spinning my, my dial, working it up, up, up. And with a rifle, you follow the bullet. A bone arrow, you go opposite. So, I just started going clicks up. It was about 30 clicks. Now I'm right on cue and I'm going to shoot out to 50. After 50, I'm going to move it out to 100 and see how that shoots. So it's shooting to the right and a little low. So I'm going to come up. Punch the bullseye. I like that. I got to say, I must admit, this gun shoots flawless. Doesn't hurt. It's such a big bore caliber. It's a stage two caliber and it should kick and thump a lot more. Action is so smooth you don't even feel it going off and uh, honestly I can't wait to thump this into some deer this afternoon or this week. I'm going to be uh, using it with the Federal Power Shock bullets because they won't do too much damage and just try it out, break it in. Um, if I go for a grizzly bear, moose, elk, I'm going to be using my Winchester Acubons most likely. Uh, I've used them in the past with this caliber and they annihilate uh, maximum damage. So we're going to put it out to probably 200 yards and then go 300 and see how it shoots. If you guys like what you saw today, please don't forget to hit the like at the bottom, hit the notification bell at the top. That'll allow you to know when I'm going to Put out new videos because they go at random. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm always doing live feed on Instagram, whether I'm fishing, hunting, hiking, mushroom foraging, uh, cooking. So it's really uh, good to follow me on Instagram as well. And uh, if you uh, like what you're seeing, want to leave some comments, leave them below. Appreciate you guys following and watching. Take care.